Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Teresa and this is Cali Life on the Fly. I hope everybody is doing well. Today we are not in the craft space <laughs> and I don't have a Dollar Tree haul. What I do have is a DIY that's indifferent than any DIY I've ever done. It may be a little not for everybody but I have been busy making some masks. These are masks that I have made for my family. They have this pocket in here to where you can put in a filter. Um, coffee filters are better than nothing. This gives you 50% less things going through it. A coffee filter or a double coffee filter inside, they also make in filters or even full-blown masks out of um, vacuum bags. This, I have a fabric, I have a sewing machine, so I made this. These are um, pony holders I um, sewn in. And then I took this one and I modified it. I know some people who have small children. Children are out of school. This is the string that's on the end of your things. It's not very sturdy. You'd have to be really careful with it. But your children can have one too. And to show you the size difference, let me um, hold. This is the size difference in the adult one and the, size, you know, the, the small one. Right? There are size on every size of them. I can open this up. Open this up. This is the size difference. See here? That's, yeah. So, I just learned how to do these this evening. I modified and cut down my pat pattern and I made it fit and made it work. So I got a kids and an adult. I am going to show you how I did the adult one, okay? And I will also put the, um, the company I got it from, uh, the, the channel, because I learned it off of YouTube. I will put the person's channel a name in my description down below. You will have to go on there and find where they do these masks. They are done by nurses okay so all right let me turn you around and we'll get started I'll show you the pattern and everything all right see you on the other side okay everybody here I am here I am okay the material needed for this is it says a half a yard is enough to make two or three masks. I just went with what I had. I, I don't really know. All-purpose thread, two hair ties, a scissors, right? A needle if you need to. Um, so, and um, the place I got this from, the website, very, uh, the, the YouTube channel, is U-N-I-T-Y-P-O- I N T H E L H E A L, sorry, T H. Again, U N I T Y P O I N T H E L A L T H. That's the YouTube channel, and you will go down to you see the Olson O L S O N mask pattern and it may look something like this I printed this off there's a place in the in the in the description to go to a site to print this off I'll still try and put this in my description okay you will get patterns and it'll be doubled, but you don't need to double. I mean, you'll have two sets, what I'm trying to say. They'll say to try and make, 
they will say make one of each one of these. You don't have to make one of each one of them. If your fabric is doubled, you only need one mouthpiece, one face piece, and this one is called a cheek piece. Okay, that's it. That's all you need. Okay, double your fabric, right or wrong sides together, doesn't matter. Because when you cut this out, you're going to have two pieces as long as it's doubled. You put right sides together, sew it together. Okay? So you only, you'll get two sets of these, but you only need one. So you can put another set aside so when these aren't getting too used up, you can go to that one. Okay. I have cut out a few of these pieces, right? Laying them out. Here they are laying them out, and over here are the kid ones, right? Laying them out something like this. I'm going to put these over here. I only need the, the, the mouthpieces for, the, for this set, and then we will go over. And if you look, this is the size difference in the kids that I modified this one down to. Okay, I, this is doubled fabric. I am trying to make the best of my time and I am going with four pieces. Two cut out, right? Got my two cut out and these two are gonna go with these to make different, well, this one's gonna go with this one. This one's going to go with this little kid one, our kid set over here, and make two masks. So, I will see you over at the sewing machine. I hope I can show you how to put these together. If not, when you download and you go to this site, this has step-by-step -step instructions, and it will also come with like two or three pages of... Um, patterns. Okay? I'll see you at the sewing machine. Okay, everybody. I will do my best not to hit the camera that's right next to me, and I will make sure that I try and make sure I show you everything. All right. We'll just start with the kid one. We're taking the pattern off. Okay, these are our mouthpieces, right? These are our face pieces. This is the mouth, this is the face, and this is the cheek, or I would like to say it, the mouth. Okay, we're gonna start off with the easiest one first, which is this one, right? This one here, it is the mouth. What I'm gonna do, is I'm going to take this one, right, and I'm going to put the right sides together, match them up, okay, and I am going to sew along this ends using the side as my, my my pressure foot right here as the guide right along the edge of the fabric right and I'm going to back stitch at the beginning and down here at the end just to secure it okay this may get sped up because I'm gonna go ahead and do both sets Of, um, of the kid one so you'll see it here and then you will see it here both of these um, both the adult and the, the kids are done the same way
Well, I still have these in here, these two ear pieces, right? You have two of them. You're going to take them, turn them right here. And sew this down. Just sew this right along this edge right here. Gotta hope you can see that. So we're gonna do that here and we're gonna back stitch at the beginning and at the end. Okay, everybody, I'm sorry, I ran out of bobbin thread. Okay, we're going to take the green ones, right sides together. We're going to do it the same way we did this other one. We're going to go right around the thing using the side of our pressure foot, back spacing. Okay, now the only thing we have left to do is on this piece here, we're going to open it up and on both sides we're going to take these, fold them in, the same amount you've been doing on all the other ones, it's like a third seam allowance or seam Backspace at the beginning and at the end. Okay, right along this curve right here, without cutting through the seam, you want to clip this because if you don't, it won't open up right. Right? No, it didn't do that one. Okay. Um, now, what we need to do, we're going to put this one aside. We're going to open this one up. Keep it back here with the right sides. both pointing down so you'll have the two right sides on that side we're going to overlap these just till they are even till they show up even on both sides see here even on both sides and then we're going to sew from here to here just this part it's like not even an inch right here Backspace in the beginning, backspace at the end. That's it. Gonna do the other side. Except for my scissors are falling. Make sure it's like lined up, overlapped a little bit. Right? Gonna sew from here. Back stitch all the way to the end of that one. Back stitch. Woo, good catch. Okay, and what we have, oh, let me clean this up. I think clean up my other side. What we have is this here, with this pocket open, right? This pocket's going to be open. That's the pocket you're going to use to put in the filter. Okay, we're going to do the other side that on that one and do it on this one. just so they will open up better.
Okay, and here we go. This is the inside of your mask. This side is open, this side is open. All right, we're gonna take that one. Okay, we're gonna open this one up. See how the major curve is here? The bigger curve is up here. Okay, we're going to take and we're going to put right sides together. We're going to match up the two seams right here in the middle. Line up the edges and we're going to pin this. Do it on this end. Flip it around. Match up your seam allowances, right? And pin this side. Okay, then we're going to come out here, right? I am not worried about this not coming up. I'm not worried about it at all. Make sure your inside is pushed all the way up into here, right? You can put a pin in the middle here so it does not shift on you. Just don't forget this when you go to turn it, turn it inside out or right side out, okay? Like I said, I am not worried about these not matching up at all. Like I said, this is a modified... Um, Uh, pattern, okay, not worried about it. Okay, it will fit a child. I tried it on Travis. Okay. We are going, and I backstitched at the beginning, we are going to sew all the way around this to close it off, okay? All the way around, right? on um, a hat or anything that's really cheap inside a um, Dollar Tree <laughs> and I made a loop right tied it off made a loop in the in the middle of it like this and I, I literally just took it stretched it over my fingers right before I do this one I'll hold this one in my hand right and try and get them about the same. I mean, all you can do is just try and get them about the same, right? And then cut this part off right here. And then that's what we're going to put on as earpieces to keep this on your kid's face. It's much... Uh, uh, if you have the little... Um, hair ties like this just in the kids the, 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 the little kid size use those you can use those too anyway let's show you how to put these on because once we do this we're done okay I'm gonna put I'm gonna hide the knot inside I'm gonna fold it over just like that right this is where you can modify these 
to your children if you have a machine. If you don't, right, if you're making this for somebody else, you can simple, you know, just, okay, you know, put a bobby pin in there or a safety pin. Just safety pin it. You don't go ahead and cut off this extra just to match, make it match. I clip the corners off of them, just the corners, just to make the corners turn out a little um, easier so that they're not all bulky because you still have to add the ear pieces to it. You do not want this too bulky in the corners. Okay, and we're going to turn this inside out. Call that good. That's good. This ain't going to come out anywhere. It ain't going to come out. It was going to hold it next to your kid's face, and you can make this adjustable. That is one way to do it, okay? You can hand sew this, okay? You don't have to machine sew it. You can sew all this with your hand, okay? I'm doing it by a sewing machine because I'm making so many of them, and I have one. Um, had to learn how to use this because this is the first project I've done on this machine that my fiance was nice enough to get me from Christmas. So I'm going to sew this. I'm going to backspace the front, backspace at the back. Okay, we are done with this kid's mask. We are done. This is it. This is the kid's mask. Done. Okay, I'm sending this to a friend. So I told her, listen, if you get these, and this is too big, take it, tie it off, make it smaller. Okay? You can always do that. Okay? Um, this is a tube, right? If you have some of this or um, a rubber band, say this breaks, a rubber band will work in here. Take, take a safety pin, right? Put it through a rubber band. Close it, right? Put this right here. This will slip right through here. And it will come out on the other end of this just like that it is here it is here so you can slip anything through this right so if this breaks it is replaceable by anything even a string that you have okay anything to keep this on your face or on your kids face which <laughs> so okay guys i'll see you on the other side okay everybody I hope that that did it. I'm going to check this video and see if there was anything out of frame and everything. And if it was, you will get <laughs> another version on the big one um, in fast forward with no talking or whatever. But this is the little one we made together. Here's the ear pieces, right? Here's the inside with the pocket that you can uh, put the filter in, right? And like I said, the reason I came up with, and here's the other one, the reason I came up with Kid Ones 2 was um, I'm a mom. And I had Travis out in public, and God forbid he should, you know, cough or sneeze or whatever, and someone's, you know, looking at me funny or even happens to say something because it's going to get so bad that they might say something. This may solve that problem. You know, um, okay. These are Chanel stems or pipe cleaners cut in half, okay? What you're going to do is take these, double the ends, in so that they don't poke out, right? Double both ends in, just fold them in, right? Now that they're folded in, take this, 
and you insert it, this may be a little long for this kid one, put it right in here, right? Right? Right here at the top. I think I lost it. <laughs> in this kid one, it's just... Okay, right here in the top, right? When you put your mask on, this bends it and it stays contour to your face, right? It'll stay right there and it won't pinch into you right here because you doubled over the side. That is your nose piece, stays comfortable right around your nose, right? Wear it out side, right? When you come back home, right? This gets, throw the filter away if you got one in there. This goes in the washing machine. This goes into a bucket of bleach water, right? Rinse them all out, wash them real good. These can be reused. Coffee bill filter gets thrown away. Okay, guys, like I said, I wore this out today, right? And no one said a thing. It's all under here. This is that major dip right here. Right here is where your nose piece would go, right? Right inside the little thing. Filter right here. Once this is on, I'll want to disinfect this one. Once this is on, don't touch the front of the mask. Try not to. Okay, don't touch this, got your gloves on, that's it. When you come out, take this off, just like this. Don't touch the front, okay? If you're going into another store, put this one directly back on without touching the front, right? When you get home, take it off, take the filter out, take the nose piece out, wash it reusable. All right, everybody. I hope this helps. Okay. Um, I just want everybody to be safe. If I can show, look up. They, they're making masks out of everything, out of um, just the, the face piece on the front, right? Is all you need as, out of a paper towel, right? Fold it, see this rounded edge, back here, back here, fold it in half, use some double-sided tape with some of this, or rubber bands, you got a mask, okay? Bandana wrapped around your mouth, but now today, as I'm filming this, right, as I started filming this, the CDC is now saying that the mask help. You know what I'm saying? Um, remember, the mask is not to protect yourself. It's not. Okay? The mask is to help prevent you from giving it to somebody else. Still use your distance, right? Still use your mask is an addition to the distance, okay? Insist on your distance, but do so nicely. Okay, everybody, this is it. Have a good night, right? Be kind to each other. We'll get through this together, and have a blessed night. Bye.